My mission is to discover the language of nature of the fungal networks that communicate with the ecosystem. And I believe nature is intelligent. You know, these mushrooms can get you high, they can heal you, they can feed you, they can kill you. Mushrooms are not like a vegetable and it's not like an animal, but it's somewhere in between. They respond to their environment, they seek out food, and they defend themselves. They solve problems. I mean, they correct everything on Earth. They support life, they convert life, they carry life. They're remarkable beings. Just to give you an idea of how much fungi are in the forest, as you're walking through, there's about 300 miles of fungi. The bulk of the organism is growing underground, and it's composed of these long threads called a mycelium. Almost everyone knows about the computer internet. The mycelium shares the same network design. It's amazing what we do with all that mushrooms. They really are a frontier of knowledge. Why do mushrooms produce molecules that fit receptors in the human brain and body? Does that mean that we're supposed to be using these things? I have been a guide for around 350 psilocybin sessions. The most glorious part of it was that it made me feel more comfortable with, with living, you know, because uh, you're not afraid of dying. One third of individuals in the study said it's the single most spiritually significant experience of their lives. Uh, from my perspective, this core experience informs all of the religious, ethical, and moral traditions. I mean, that is the core of love thy neighbor as thyself. I could see this as being critical to the evolution of the species, frankly. There's a brilliant chemistry to mushrooms. They probably can help us solve all sorts of problems. They can break down anything that's hydrocarbon based. So that includes stuff like oil spills. You can filter water. You can create medicinal compounds almost on demand. They have incredible capacity to make things change very, very quickly. So if we can work with them, if we get it, you know, if humans get it, we can change this thing really fast. So I am super hopeful. You're officially a mushroom farmer. I see my species as part of a larger whole. Rather than being at the top of the pyramid, being one of the organisms with inside the circle. And the circle is made up of mycelium holding us all together. We are not an individual. We are a vast network of molecules and energies and wavelengths. The interconnectedness of being is who we are. When we see it, we understand it. And when we understand it, we care about it. And when we care about it, we'll do something to help save it. We need to have a paradigm shift in our consciousness. What will it take to achieve that?